Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Snake Farm. It is a absurdist uh, bullet heaven that caught my eye, uh, mostly because the Steam description is unhinged. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go read it out, out loud. Wait, where is it? There it is. Uh, top of the description is, oil is life, life is money, money is death. It's the year 50,000, you're a snake farmer with 10 days to live. Buy snakes, watch them burst from the ground and fight them to the death with gardening tools. Sell their oil and teeth for rare snakes and better weapons. Oil is life, life is money, money is death. Your only legacy will be a high score. I don't know, something about that just speaks to me right now. So, burst of electricity or high health kicks up dust. Let's go with that. Uh, you can only have 20 snakes, so we're kind of limited on what I can do here. So we're just going to go for, oh my gosh, this thing really just kicks. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to live inside this snake for the time being and just stab it to death. I mean, if it works, it works, right? There we go. That was nice and easy. I might sound pretty bad, and it's because I feel pretty bad. I'm actually on the mend. Like, a couple days ago was way worse. My video on Rius was, like, peak me dying. Not actually dying, obviously. Uh, but peak me just having a really bad time. Pushes snakes. Becomes ethereal when hurt. I don't really like those. Because I want to save up for the pitchfork. I'm not sure how we get more fangs. It might be based on how many snakes we have. We can go for a second coral snake, but I can't get inside them. Uh, I have five. So why don't we get a coral snake and a cloud snake? Gives off clouds of poison gas and two oil. Hopefully this also means I get... Uh... I also get some more, uh, snake fangs. Yes. I do have more snake fangs. But yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of kite them by standing in front, rather than letting them surround me, because two of them might be able to, uh, do a crossover and then I'm in trouble. We'll see. But yeah, I've been hawking uh, up a lung uh, last couple of days, just getting all the, the schmutz out of there. And it's been, um... Not the most pleasant, so I might sound like I've been uh, smoking a little bit more than usual. Which is a lot, because I don't smoke. Uh, but I figured, I don't know, I need to record something. Uh, so we might as well mess around with Snake Farm and see how this goes. It might end up being a short video, and then I'll mix with the second one. We'll see. I, I just... I'm checked out. Being sick, it sucks. Headshots do extra damage. Ooh, that's good. I have five. Yeah, let's go for both of those. Uh, it's the electric looper, another s cloud snake. I don't want too many snakes, but I don't want too few. Let's go for a reroll, see what else get I can get. These last 10 seconds longer. I mean, that might not actually be a bad idea. I know about the snake be gone. And I guess we're just gonna buy both of those. Alright, so now we have a ton of snakes. Yeah, that bonus headshot damage is actually going to be really helpful. Especially against these big slow boys. And I mean, whoa. Okay, so the electric looper is kind of scary. I have to get close to it, but it's a lot faster than me. Huh. Which means, to some degree, I might want to give up on headshots and mostly focus on um, just spanking it from behind with a pitchfork. I don't think we actually needed the extra time, per se, but it certainly gives me a little bit more to do. Oh, there's more oil. Is there anything else? No, it looks like we've got it all. Perfect. Alright, so Pitchfork level 3 is pretty expensive. Sprays damaging water. Might not be a bad idea. And I have a lot of money, so let's get a Fast and Electrified, 10 Oil, no, Natural Born Hunter. Terrifying. Uh... I'm gonna re-roll. Let's see what we get. Move faster. There we go. Loot Snake. 10,000 health. Gives 30 oil. Terrifying. Clown Snake. My favorite buddy. Gives 10 oil. That sounds good. Yeah, that 20% movement speed means hopefully I won't get absolutely demolished by speed snakes. 
Luckily, since this game's high score based, I don't actually have to really care about my per performance and optimization. Sometimes with them, uh, with these games like Wall World, for example, you actually have to care. Where it's just like, no, uh, the optimum play is like the only way I'm going to win, otherwise I'm hosed. Here it's just kind of like, oh, I guess I'm slightly underpowered, oh well. It doesn't really matter, I'm just here to kill snakes. Gosh, I hope that stuff goes away, otherwise this... Okay, it does. Yeah, we might want to specifically go out of our way to slay the uh, clown snake if we can. Unfortunately, I'm a little overwhelmed by large, beefy snakes, and it's making it a bit tough. There we go. Oh, that was worth some dosh. Yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to have to hit it wherever, rather than not some oil over here. Oh god, yeah, don't miss don't miss the oil and the snake fangs. We need those. All right, so what do we got? Pitchfork? Yeah. Attacks have a chance to pierce. Eh. All water and pushing attacks slow snakes by 0.1%. That's not really that helpful. Let's reroll, see what we get. Hurt nearby enemies, fertilizer. I yeah, let's go for that. Uh Okay, rat snake. Cute little guy, fast though. Or fast and electrified. Mm. And actually, we have Thunder Snake, don't we? We're probably chill to get another one of those. Okay, and I'm gonna reroll again, see if I can find something else. Push snakes, that, cold water. Eh, we don't have any water anyway. Oh no, we have an electric looper. Well, I can buy another clown snake. And just hope for the best. How much, how much do I want to hate myself? Probably not that much. Uh, let's start day five. Oy. Okay, so this damage ore is actually really good. I just have to be very scared of the fast snake. As he has the infinite potential to do heinous things to me. However, big bonus, I do a shit ton of damage. Okay, did I take damage there? I have no idea. I have no frame of reference for harm here. Oh, I am in trouble. I got... I'm getting killed. I mean, I'm not. There's almost no downside to getting snagged like that, oddly enough. I lost a lot of oil, but guess what? I killed him first, and he was the one draining me the most. And we don't lose fangs, and we have plenty of money, so who cares? Just probably not gonna do that again, because it seems kind of un unnecessary. I'm very glad there's no point of failure in this game, otherwise I'd probably be having a worse time. I feel like I'm delivering one of those, like, slowly, uh, maddened monologues, where it just gets more and more unhinged over time, but I don't have the wherewithal to come up with something clever, so instead it just sounds like I'm losing my mind slowly over the course of the day. Give snakes sunburn. Oh, that would have been nice. Tiger snake. Born hunter. Uh... The problem is just like how many how many snakes am I willing to add to the mix before it becomes a problem? Stays in one place, launches fireballs. You know what? I like that. I can dodge fireballs or something. I think I just deleted that snake. Okay, the tiger snake is really cute. It looks more like a rat than anything else, to be honest. But that's fine. Yeah, what I gotta do is finish him off. If he's gone, I am safe. If he's not gone, I will be forever harried and trapped by snakes. It happened again. I'm here. It's fine. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, this game's kind of fun. Uh, so what do we start with? Trowels, high range, low fire rate, pierces snakes. I think I'm gonna go for the hose. I can work with that. Let's go for the coral snake. I think I might try and go for big slow snakes. Uh, the electric one was just too much of a an issue for me. Okay, so unlike, unlike last time where I did a lot of damage, now I do less. But I can see this working really well with certain fire rate upgrades and I'm that slowing perk and a bunch of other things. All right, we don't need to care about headshots. I can just do whatever. Wait. 
In that case, I'm just gonna bully this snake from the inside. Oh wait, that's a mistake. Last time I tried that, it got... It got huggy. Actually, no. The water pushes them. They can, This snake cannot hug, no matter how much it tries. Other snakes, however, may be better at hugging. So I should keep an eye out and probably not let them encircle me. No matter how much I crave their sweet embrace. Alternatively, I could let them. It changes nothing. I care not for my score. Alright, what do we got? Headshots do more damage. Oh, please. Alright, rat snake. Cute little guy. It's fast, though. Slow. Shoots slime projectiles. Gives two oil. I'm gonna re-roll. See if I get something else. Rat snake. Yeah, it's screwed. It. We're gonna go for rat snake. Oh, he bitey. I gotta keep that in mind. That said, he's not faster than me. So that makes this reasonably easier. Mostly. Come on, you big lad. You absolute lunkus. It is time for your daily dose of medicine. Endless water up the gullets. I'm sorry it has to be fatal, but what am I to do? How else am I to get oil out of you? How do you... How do you milk a snake? Don't answer that question. I already know the answer. It's with violence. I feel like there needs to be a non-gardening tool in this game that's really silly. Like... I don't know. Like a bird. You can't do anything. It's a summon build. The birds just come pick off the snakes for you and you... You just... Beast upon the remains. Grab the fertilizer. I know that's good. And... Yeah, let's keep getting coral snakes. I like them. They're tough buggers, but otherwise they're fine. Okay. Now the one thing is... The AoE is, like, freaking dangerous. It does a ton of damage to these guys. I don't want to let them surround me. However... Uh, oh, it's not a headshot, even though it's hitting him in the head. That's a bit of a shame, but the combination of the two is extremely deadly. Fertilizer remains shockingly one of the better upgrades in this game that I've seen so far, and therefore I'm going to exploit the heck out of that whenever it shows up. There we go. Alright, the next one. I think it's weird. I've gotten kind of bored of Bullet Heavens, mostly because it feels like a lot of them have no imagination. They just, it's somebody played uh, Vampire Survivors and said, yeah, I could make something like that, which I don't necessarily hate that specific thought process. You know, I do it all the time. Whenever I watch a bad movie or a movie that disappointed me, I sit down and actually write out like, hey, uh, this is what I would have written if I, uh, you know, if I had had the opportunity to make this movie. Do you want to get the level 2 hose? Yeah, fire snake and another coral snake? Absolutely. Let's do this. So we are going to have one toasty boy shooting at me. But I think that's fine. If if I'm just getting uh, charged at, but ow, ow. I guess he got one final bite in. Uh, let's just go back and feast upon his bones, get my HP back so I don't die. But, you know, whenever I watch a bad movie or play a game that ends disappointingly, I rewrite the ending for my own benefit so I can kind of be left with the memory of what I, I would have rather had, uh, rather than the real thing. Obviously, it's a, it's a, it's a facsimile, it's not what the, the developers intended. And if I ever replay the game, I'm going to be disappointed a second time. But on the flip side, that small amount of like, oh yeah, this feels better, uh, that sticks with me and makes it so I don't dislike the game as much as I did. It doesn't happen too often because I'm usually pretty possessive of my time and energy, and I usually don't go out of my way. I don't think I want to get close to this guy. I could try and get in there with the aura, but I think I get shot. And I don't think we want that. Interestingly enough, if I could get inside this snake, we would have perfect snake snake tea. Snake tea? Except for the fact that I don't think I'd be able to... I'd like maybe be able to hide in this gap here, but it could be... It'd be an issue. I'd have to constantly be running. Like, just to stay inside? No. No, no matter what, you get encircled. So, I guess the real solution is just shoot it to death. Those things, unfortunately, are kind of tough, so I'm going to have to look into alternate means of 
doing them in. It's fine. Doesn't mean I won't go for any more fire snakes if I can avoid it. So what do we have? Plus three damage, stronger pushing. I like that. Move faster and ethereal wouldn't hurt. Well, grab those. Reroll, see what else we have. Thunder snake, terrifying. Clown snake, maybe not that bad. Eye patch, headshot. Ooh, let's grab both of those and grab a head. Clown, clown snakes. There we go. Okay, so... Did we get the movement speed bonus? I don't know. All right, we got to kill the rat snake first. He's the biggest issue. Rat snakes are a little spooky, mostly bo boiling down to the fact that they're the only enemy in this setup that will actively attack me. Everybody else can just ineffectively follow me, but because I've selected my snakes to be slow and weak and boring, they don't have much. The clown snakes are going to be a bit of an issue because I'm not entirely sure how dangerous the oil confetti that they leave behind is. There's a very real possibility that uh, if I get too many clown snakes, the entire screen is going to be covered in just rainbow vomit, and then I'm just going to be in, uh, in trouble as I have no place to go, and the snakes encircle me and do me in. Ooh, I don't know. But to go back to my topic about why bullet heavens have become boring, ultimately, this is true of every genre. There's a set amount of ideas that people can come up with, monkeys writing on a typewriter, before eventually you've you've eliminated almost all of the interesting ideas, leaving you only with an endless amount of rehashes, remakes, and reimaginings, none of which have a whole lot of originality to them, and as such, they cannot help but constantly disappoint, even if their execution may be as good, or if not better, than the original, just because, like, at that point, you might as well just play the original anyway, rather than get invested in something mostly the same. Uh, just slightly newer. And so from my perspective, I've been craving the idea of more games like this that take the idea and take the formula and say, hey, but what if it was different? What if it was unhinged? What if something about it stood out? Beyond just like your regular twist. You know, you can only make a character of potato so much before, uh... Let's see, do we actually... Let's grab the hose and the watering can. Do we want one another coral snake? I like them. Clown snake, coral snake, clown snake, coral snake. I said it was going to become a problem, and it will be, but in the meantime, I do a lot of damage, and I should be able to just rip through them. I know I have an upper limit of uh, 20 snakes, and I don't know how many snakes I have at this point, but if they're all these slow boys, I can just rip through them, and then there will be nothing remaining, except for one fire snake, because I made the mistake of thinking that he'd be a, a good addition to my garden. Turns out that was false, but whatever. It's not like I can get rid of him at this point. All I can do is slay him every morning until I myself expire. Look at them. It's almost mesmerizing. I would love to see this expanded dramatically. Uh, make it so that you're constantly buying more and more snakes and becoming more and more, like, aggressively powerful uh, to the point where you are just, like, gutting down thousands of snakes all at once. Don't make it an expansion in this game. Make it a sequel. These games are cheap enough that there's no reason for you to get mired in them forever. When, in, when you can instead uh, make a new successor, take it a step further, use uh, use your experiences with the first game, uh, learn from them, and use them to improve the second, and continue on and on and on until you have a, a weird snake void simulator. Because I think that would be incredible, and I'd love to see that. Purely because, boy, like, this concept, snake, oils, I don't know, it sings to me in a way that I can't put my finger on. It feels like it's social commentary, but it's mostly just absurdist fantasy, and I kind of love that. Alright, there we go. Oh wow, I can just slap this guy. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time, but you know what? It doesn't really matter if I don't manage to slay all of my snakes for the day. Because I'm already flush on oil. And teeth. Oh, bring in that coral. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Ooh. Wait, don't I already have a sprinkler? I guess I'll buy it again. Shadow snake, it's invisible. <laughs> That's slightly terrifying. Oh, I have the watering can. Won't stop coughing. Smog snake. Ah. Uh, 
This could be a problem. We will see. Runs over snakes. Cannon will kill you. Sick. What else can I buy? Uh, both of these. Oh, never mind. They cost five. Whatever. Alright. I just have to make sure I'm not in the midst of them. Oh, there's the tractor. I like the tractor. I will have to be careful about it. The, uh, smog snakes turns out... Turned out to be a, uh, bit of a risk. Maybe they'll be fine, but there are a lot of them. I don't know how tough they are. There is a very real possibility that I will die from secondhand smoke here. Which would be weirdly appropriate, considering what I sound like I'm dying from at this very moment. Long time ago. I was in college. This is what? 13 years ago now? Um... I got sick for like two weeks. Kind of similar symptoms. Uh, just bad head colds, runny nose. I was mostly non-functional. And uh, kind of in the aftermath of it, uh, I ended up with just this like really harsh sounding, you know, has been smoking for 50 years and he's only 20. Uh, I had that kind of voice and it was majestic. I don't know, there's something about it that was really cool. I, I knew it wouldn't last, and realistically, I'm sure Shell would have hated that. But it amused me to no end, uh, because effectively, I just wasn't in school for like two weeks. And I come back, and everybody's just like, what happened to you? And I'm like, oh, I was just sick. And it was just like the double take was delicious every time. It does feel like we are getting less snake fangs, which is slightly unfortunate because I need them to upgrade my uh, sprinkler further. I think we might actually have to start conserving rather than uh, just endlessly buying new upgrades as I don't necessarily know if all of my other upgrades are good. I've taken some damage, but whatever. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to stop buying snakes so much. I think we just need... ...as much damage as we can. Okay, what do we have? Overalls, fire rates, 20% faster. I love it. Oil collection range. I mean, that's nice, but we're going to grab that hose. Okay, what else do we have? I have a lot of money, so I might as well invest in da uh, damage upgrades and other things. Uh, let's see if we can find more overalls. I have a lot of money, and it seems like getting just a ton of overalls is going to make me the most powerful. There we go. I am now a machine gun. I. This feels better. I'd like to get piercing. Even just one point of piercing would probably make a huge difference. I don't know what killed me. It was probably smoke. Or it killed me. Damaged me? It was probably smoke. On the flip side, I think I'm just ripping through them much faster. Oh, I got killed by smoke. I will say I like that, but I think we might want to try piercing. It was a good high score. We'll do one more run, and then I think I will stop. Uh, let's see. I really like the coral snake, but we could consider rat snakes. They give the same amount of oil as a coral snake, but they are much weaker and much easier to kill, which... You know, early on, they're a concern. Holy shit, I fire so slowly. Uh, yeah, early on, these these boyos are a concern. Oh, that piercing damage is majestic to watch. Okay, I don't know how I want to handle this. Because, yeah, if I can get a snake to just come at me straight on. So, in that case, I think we want... Oh, we want rat snakes, we want tiger snakes. We want nothing but sheer, um, nothing but chasers. Let's see. Oil collection, runs over snakes. No, we want the overalls. Get that started. My reload speed is bad. But my thoughts are, if I can get these two rat snakes lined up kind of perfectly with each other, I can just blast through them repeatedly over and over again. And since I have infinite piercing, I can just rip through them. I do wish that the upgrade for, uh, like the 1% chance to pierce or whatever that is. Well, 
I didn't actually check to see if that was pierced or if that was crit. Uh, but if there are any upgrades for piercing, I wish it would do something different while I have this item. One of my biggest pet peeves about roguelike design gives snakes sunburn. I'm trying it. And yeah, let's get another rat snake. I will just live the rat life. Oh, is it is it just that? Okay, I don't I don't think I care for that too much. I mean this damage is still good, don't get me wrong. We are probably also gonna want some movement speed. There we go. But yeah, one of my biggest pet peeves about roguelike power-up design is uh not redundant well yeah, redundant upgrades. Hey, you already have infinite range. Here's a plus one range upgrade. Why would I ever want this? What does it do for me? I don't know. Uh, take it anyway. Here, here's three more. What are you doing, Isaac? I'm sure there was a logic behind it, but it always felt kind of weird. Okay, trowels. I, we want eye patch. Yeah, we want both of those. Okay, loot snake, tiger snake. The only immediate problem is they might be faster than me now. This could, this could become a bit of an issue. Oh, but my damage, though. Oh, I'm slower when I'm moving. Or, I'm, I'm slower when I'm shooting. Sorry, not moving. I move slower when I'm shooting. Well, this is an interesting build, and I really appreciate it. I think the other reason why this game specifically appeals to me is it's like dirt cheap. I think it's only like two or three bucks. Which, I know bullet heavens to begin with are pretty inexpensive, and so there's not as much of that feeling of like, yeah, who cares, this is this is too expensive and I don't want to buy it. It doesn't have that. Let's uh, grab harvesters. Let's do a re-roll. Grab another one of those. Grab some overalls. I want to get another tiger snake. Let's be ridiculous. It doesn't matter how many snakes are following me. Uh, because as long as they're all lined up and getting shot by my super pierce, uh... Does not matter. And that sun, oh, it's beautiful. See? Doesn't matter how many tiger snakes are following me. If they're all just going to get absolutely kerblammed. Okay, just gotta watch on the wraparound. We need that movement speed if I can get it. Here, can I just kill him? There we go. The only immediate problem with uh, killing him is now effectively I have to run and grab all of my loot as the day ends. Uh, I guess it wasn't too bad because it's all lined up for me. But we might want to intentionally leave one rat snake alive while I collect everything else. And I have just enough for the trousers. Yes. Uh, let's see. Tiger snake, tiger snake, tiger snake. There we go. Yeah, we desperately need that movement speed, though, because these tiger snakes can and will kill me. But, but look at them line up, exactly as predicted. Oh, it's gorgeous. Michelle has come back from swimming and is reacting to my voice. She, uh, I'd been trying not to talk too much earlier, uh, and then I took a nap and woke up coughing up a lung. And now I sound pretty ridiculous, apparently. I'm glad. I'm glad I recorded. I said, I said, like, ah, I could be lazy today, but no. Like, the only thing wrong with me is that I guess my throat does hurt a little bit. It's going to be a short video. Like, we're going to stop after this run, but it is a glorious run and I'm having a good time. Buy the trowels and maybe reroll until we get the movement speed upgrade. Yeah, it's a 1% chance to pierce. I wish Hypervisor either wasn't here or didn't do anything. Uh, 90% 90, 90 of it is underground. No. That's, like, actually the worst for me. Sprinkler. Start with extra. No, these are very expensive. Uh, just give me the move speed and we're good. Volcano snake. Like a fire snake, but much bigger. 20 oil. Ah, screw it, just rat snakes and oh, we're out of things and I'll get one solar cell. Uh, 
okay. We really desperately need that movement speed upgrade. Once we get them on the straightaway, it's not too bad. But early on, it's just... Very much potentially death. Okay, there's our one remaining rat snake. Let's not let it touch us. I love the fact that this build works as well as it does. We definitely need some upgrades to make it work, but uh, it actually works incredibly well. I'm still going to get eaten by a rat snake, and it's going to be a little sad. I need some water, otherwise I am actually going to lose my voice fully. Actually, that isn't too bad. Okay. Uh, do we get another trowel faster cooldown? You know, honestly enough, that's not actually that good, but I'm going to re-roll for it anyway. It's boots. All attack projectiles last 0.2 seconds longer. Oh, that'd actually be very good on other characters, but no, we just need the snake skin. Shadow snake sounds hilarious. Let's not. Smog snake, coral snake, volcano snake. Uh, your snakes. Alright, baby, let's go. Don't bite me. Yeah, that 20% movement speed was all I needed. Alright, let's get a new straightaway, get them all lined up. Oh, look at that horde. Come on! Oh, I even- I fire really fast now. <laughs> I love this game. Like, I don't think I'm- I don't think I'm gonna play more than a video just because the build variety is kind of limited, but, like, this may sound illogical to some people, but from my perspective, I adore games that I can play once and say, I had a full experience. Not only did I have a full experience, I had a really good time. And I- Probably never need to think about it again. Like I said, might sound kind of nonsense to some people, uh, but for me it's just... It's nice. I'm always busy. All water and pushing attacks slow snakes by 0.1%. Not really that helpful. Yeah, what do we even get? Chance to pierce? Move even faster? Sure. And you know what? Let's grab uh, one snake begone. Because... Big, big stomps. What? What does that do? Oh gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take some time for a moment. So it looks like I now have like a, a stomping like ground. Oh no, that's the pushing attack. That's what that is. That's what that do. Maybe I should actually invest a little bit more into Harvester. That pickup range is actually really nice. And yeah, I should have saved my teeth. Because we very much could have uh, maybe gotten the next upgrade one day left. Yeah, so we can't get the next level of trowels. The biggest trowel. Yeah, I should have saved up. Earth Snake carves hole in the landscape, gives 150. Bone Snake, it's made out of fangs, gives 100 oil. We're buying two of those. Hopefully it's the kind that chases. Otherwise, we're going to have a... Oh, it's when it, one of them lads. Uh, I... This doesn't fit into my usual... Like, workflow. And I am scared. I can't fight it the way I'm supposed to fight it. What do I do? I guess I get a, an obscene amount of oil. Ow. I'm not even sure what hit me there. Oh, it sides hit me. That's how it... That's how it do. And unfortunately, my build was so... So bloody specific. That anything... Anything else is actually just... God, if we had the final trowel upgrade, we'd be rocking even these guys. But as it stands, I think I've done, like, a decent amount of damage to one of them. Hard to tell. I don't- I don't think I'm gonna kill them, they're just too wiggly. 
This got intense though. Previously, I'd kind of, I'd cracked the code. I'd solved the solved the formula. Now I'm just kind of like, oh shoot. I actually have to adapt. I have to think. I have to do things. I have to face the consequences of my own actions, or at least I have to live with these snakes for the next couple in-game hours. Luckily, I've got <laughs> a lot of oil. Oh, oh, we are right at the end here. Both for my voice, this game, this my snakes, my life, in game. I'd, in real life, I'll be fine. Give me a couple of days, and I'll be right as rain. I might sound kind of funky for a couple of days, and. I'm gonna have a good laugh out of it, but it does mean I'm not gonna be able to record much. Consider this a PSA. God, I love the music for like, oh, you're reaching the end here. I just kind of wish we were somehow ascending over the course of this, and that music just raised to a crescendo as opposed to tapering away. I want it to be one of those where the snake gods are starting to descend on the final day, ready to usher in the end of my snake harvesting life, rather than, uh, you know, just resetting the loop. Well, at least we get to hear kind of do 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 xylophone noises, and we're dead. I should have probably let them eat me. Your obs obsolescence has been planned. Final score. Pretty good. Score uploaded to server. Where am I on the leaderboard? Rank 41. Damn. 27,000. 80, th what is, how, you know what, I don't know, I don't know, man, some people are really good at these games, and I don't understand it, but I did enjoy it, Snake Farm is available on Steam as of today, it is three bucks normally down to, I think, 270 at launch, which is an absurdly good price for a game that I will probably only ever play once and remember fondly for way longer than I ought to. I sincerely hope we get another one of these, but with deeper features, uh, more interesting scaling and power-ups and synergies and stuff, just because why the heck not? But keep the snakes, because something about that is incredibly cool. For now, though, I'm going to go lay down. Goodbye.